Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Ghost of Tsushima. Competition. You fought just as hard. Did I? What are you getting at? Nothing. Just remembering our group. We'll talk about this later. If we survive. Which we definitely will do, but we are about to find a way down the cliffs, and I. Would suggest they already went the correct way. Ah, okay, we can go down here very, very neatly. And then I think, I assume, we are in for a little bit of action. Your men should be in position. Light the torch. Now, man. I knew they'd come through. Look at that fire. And now we are just hopping in the action. Why not? This wasn't the plan, Okay, that was a quick death. <laughs> oh, okay. So, um, they are obviously um, and totally understandable a little bit confused there so that is what I tried to use for our advantage but obviously it did not correctly 100% work come out look at that fire one down the others are not seeing us another one down maybe just maybe we can take down the third one, stealthy. The There's no time to fight. We need to get to that boat. Okay, we don't want to fight. Let's then just go to the boat. Okay, we. Uh, just going to take down them archers and then we are going to the boat as quickly as we can. Why not why not do a little bit of killing here? So shield is down, he is down, just two archers will remain. Let's bring them down or a little more. Bring them down, bring them down. The archers are actually ripping us apart. And then this should be the last archer right here. Good, good, good. Or maybe not that good because we nearly died here. Come on, bring him down. Oh god, okay. Then let us... I think, honestly, we need to fight our way through here. They come through. Look at that fire. Then... Okay, the boat is on the other side. This wasn't the plan, G. There's no time to fight. We need to get to that boat. <laughs> And that is what I fix. It's exactly what I try to do. But in order to get to the boat, we sadly enough need to kill a couple of guys here. Yeah, 
Come on, kill it. Or it is a human, I know, kill him. Okay, now off to the boat we go. We are nearly there. We need to move quickly. Take an oar. Distracted the ship's crew too. Look around for the food. And I assume we need to be a little bit stealthy here. Nothing. I never knew our duel bothered you so much. Now you do. No food here. You should have told me earlier. Life took us in different. It was a long time ago. Okay, we were, so to say, then very, very unsuccessful in finding the stuff. I guess then we need to search on. Or did he find anything of use? Okay, we have a real seen that one but no luck any sign of food not here maybe on the next ship hear that sounds like four or five guys no way around surprise them greetings nice ship we have to move fast <laughs> So we quickly killed them off, that is nice. This one is down, supplies, that one, everything we take with us. Let's see if we are able to take them down with bows. Working out as well. Nice, okay. Another headshot and take them. I hope you kept your blade sharp. Taking the steel, refilling the ammunition, why not? So leader killed, that is nice. So nine more and we unlock the moon stance. Whatever that is going to be, I think that is obviously going to help out. Okay, we lift that one off duty. Nice, taking the supplies with me. Okay, good, good, good. If the food isn't here, it has to be on the other ship. You search here. I'll take the other. Be careful. Okay, to the other ship we go. Mm, let us try to be very, very stealthy here since we are obviously totally outnumbered and we are alone. One guy down, nice. Just an archer, but um, no problem with that. That one down and if we are lucky, we can kill the other one without being noticed as well. It is just an archer, but well, no need to arise the alarm. I don't know whether it is, would be useful to actually um, free the bear since we might have a little bit of trouble killing it. Or Although, obviously, he would um, kill the enemies as well, but only two. Just easy kill.
killed in stealth mode. Okay, let's see if there is any food on this wonderful little ship. What's in here? An order of the Khan sent on sent 1,000 men north to Toyotama region, maintain supply lines across Ijuhara region command. Assignments follow. Okay, these are just names. I'm not going to these read like them. Let's go find you all. Okay, then let's go back. Obviously, we were out of luck on this ship, but maybe on this one. Maybe um, Rizzo has actually found some useful stuff. All the food they've stolen from us. You saw. I won't fall. I never quit. Okay, this one is down, so we saved him. I would have had that Mongo if you hadn't shown up. I know. Did you see how big he was? That's where all our food went. <laughs> What's up, Barbara? Bastards. They're burning our food. Rizzo, we have to go. Can we swim? Oh, I have to. Fire spreading. Jump. I'll go right behind you. Jump. Okay, I thought we might just take them down with arrows, but obviously they... Sight. They're still hunting us. That's a good hiding spot ahead. I promised my men I'd feed them, and I'm going back empty-handed. We'll find another way. But how many will I lose before then? I found something that might help. Mongol battle plans. Do they show supply lines? One page has a map. It's a start. Hand it over. We do this together. You've got your own problems, and I am the leader. I need this, Jin. And I'll need you at Castle Canada. You'll have me. Don't let them see you coming. Just like you. Okay, detail of Rizzo. So at least one mission. Ah, okay. So we have him. I thought this tale might actually go on until we get all the money, but obviously not. So we have, oh my God, we have six technique points available. So we should actually probably do a little bit of upgrading. Okay, let's actually then divine um we have the next one right there but i don't know why i could not do that okay we i couldn't take that one that is of course very very unlucky but i say if we go here we can tackle down we actually go here and then tackle this quest uh, and those quests and then we can do some upgrades in the golden temple we even have a gift there we can do a salt upgrade and maybe a armor upgrade or even a bow upgrade but i think bow upgrades were not available at least what i've seen there on the map so let's first things first we are going to receive thank you we are going to get for one qu uh, quest for one um a hundred supply for one gift okay neat then I'm going to talk to this little man. Stay strong, Can't man. sleep. Not since I heard about those masked men hiding in the bamboo forests of Yoshi. There's plenty to fear without worrying about folktales. Mm. It's no folktale, my lord. They call themselves protectors of the great Uchitsune's longbow. Try to rest. I'll find out who these masked men really are. The musician in Yoshi Springs can tell you more. But be careful, my lord. 
Some believe Uchitsune's curse lives on. Okay, let's take a quick look on the map. It is up there and we could teleport there. Okay, that is good, good, good. But first things first, uh, first we try to stick to the plan. We can even take um, this location and then go over there. But first things first, maybe for you it's going to be a little bit um, boring, but we need to do some upgrades in order to fight the good fight. To keep your katana light and sharp. Polished like a mirror. Thank you. And May your steel bring good fortune. Thank you very much. I am not certain there's an arrow. There is an armor ra around, so let's try to find the armorer wherever he or she is that is the big thing i've already overseen ah there we are permit me to refine your armor my lord nothing stronger thank you very much and we even look mina okay nice that is good that was a upgrade worth taking in my Mine. Okay, clan ham. Oh, that looks good, I have to say. And, okay. Then let's go to techniques. I am. Um, so we have basically six points available. Um, but I am not certain whether we should. I'm for now a little bit ignoring the ghost thing because I. Well, obviously, not obviously, but I actually don't want to go too, too much into the stealth way. Save yourself from defeat when wounded. Ah, okay, I think that is actually useful, <laughs> said the one who said, well, I don't want to go into that. So, stances, let's see what we still have here. Increase stagger damage against swordsmen. Unleash a torrent of rapid of four rapid strikes. Okay, that sounds good as well. We're going into that. Increase stagger damage against spearmen. Okay, good, good, good. Now I instantly feel stronger. Nice. Okay. That leaves us a little bit of time to... Here. Come on. Where is the horse? Well, that doesn't matter right now. We know we want to go right there. So it is into this direction. Okay, there the horse is. Why didn't it actually come the first time we called for it? That is the big question. And the wind blows us into this direction. So let's go there and then go to the next quest so we did some upgrades that is good we upgraded our techniques which is of course amazing as well these tori gates lead to golden summit shrine sanctuary of ama terusu kami of the sun okay another shrine is then i guess the question mark which is quite good since if we go for them shrines, we actually upgrade our charm um, slots, and that is very, very amazing. The question is whether that is the correct location, but we found out yes, it bloody is. Nice, nice, nice. So let's, well, we obviously do that on foot dropping down nice bridge <gasps> and that is a way i want to take to be honest okay taking of course the flower with me and then through Okay, I don't know what I, the footsteps I heard there, what they were, but I was afraid that we would be being attacked from B. 
behind. That would not be... Ah, okay, it was the bird. All right, hello, beauty. That was actually... Um, okay, that was the wrong jump. Um, why I thought that we might be being attacked there from behind is actually um, a scene out of The Last of Us 2 where I was going through a... Okay, first things first, we need to take a other way. Um, where I was trying to upgrade a weapon and it was actually built in into the game that there was someone who lives in the house where the workbench was, was just attacking you from behind. And that was a very, very nasty thing if you suddenly hear footsteps behind you and get rushed by an enemy. Not very cool. Okay, up it goes. It's always the good thing to go up. And we might even take them flowers with me. For what I know, um, I'm not certain if we need them for upgrades. And I think, was were these the uh, fields where we met the straw heads? No, I don't know. Um, but we need them, I think, for coloring of the armor. And that is a very, very good thing if we collect as many of them as possible. So, um, I think it's totally worth to go for all of them supplies since they are needed for upgrades. Okay, um, let's actually take a look at that one. Killing enemies restore a moderate amount of health. And honestly, I will change that one against that one since the moderate uh, moderate amount of health is in my opinion very very useful and that is a good option i think um that they give you the opportunity to although we have a little bit of a loading time to um descend the shrine since the loading time was obviously quicker than going <laughs> down there on foot so to say okay let's then go that we have to go in this direction good 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 and we are i guess we are going to get there in this episode but you never know in this game sometimes of course they might be some mongols on the way or like that or you just stand and fight me get some bandits okay let's do a standoff nice And I think the charm will deal or get a moderate amount of health back when you deal damage. It obviously, if you have taken a quick look to our health bar, it is not that bad, I have to say. I'm really, really surprised about the amount of damage, uh, not damage, but HP, which has been restored there. Very, very amazing. So good thing is he's dead, bad thing is, through the horn he actually has called 
some reinforcements. And that obviously ain't very good. So we should see some Mongols here. Or just some Japanese. Um, Japanese um, bandits might be a thing as well. Okay. Um, this guy is dealing damage because I am just very, very stupid at all. Okay, at least that one is down. And another archer. A swordsman, so let's bring him down. Oh, come on, just a hit. Okay, let's then switch to the water stance, which is against a shield wielding enemy, the better stance. So that is one thing I guess I have not done correctly in the um, last couple of episodes or in my playtime that I um, did not switch the stands around often enough. Um, but, well, in that fight I did very, very neat. So let's see if we at least reach the desired quest giver and then see what is going to happen. The, co the cost of iron. Okay, that sounds. Uh, 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 that sounds actually quite important. But guys, that we will then do in the next episode. We will investigate the home in the next episode. But for now, you know it. I, as usual, really, really thank you for watching. If you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode, please give me a little thumbs up and subscribe, and hopefully. And hopefully I see ya in the next episode. Until then, have a nice day. Stay frosty. Bye.